I'm just going to your personal message. Okay. What's currently changing in your life? Okay. Um, so Libras, you guys are really letting go of your need to carry other people's ten of wands. Can you see the weight? Can you show the weight of other people's feelings, of other people's emotions, of other people's concerns? You are carrying too much weight. You are carrying too much weight of how people think, how they feel when they see me do this. You are allowing that sway your decision instead of you coming from. Instead of you coming, see the thing about it, Libra. Hmm? Yes, it's it's one of your skills, it's one of your gifts to be able to balance how people are feeling, how well are people are feeling, how they're thinking what you're doing, one 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 of my time as I say this. It's usually something you do. You just want to keep the peace. You don't mind dying on that or the weeks. Can you tell the weeks? Can you tell the weeks of other people's emotions, other people's feelings, other people's concerns and you're still crawling forward? The spirit is done with that. Like, they don't like you so what? They are upset with what you are doing so what? What you are doing is upsetting so what? It's your life, in it? Okay. At this time, spirit is giving you the opportunity. You guys, this eclipse made her first you to step back, made her first you to go into a next mode, made her first you to. And the word pretending is coming up. It's not exactly pretending. It's just that you've been trying to manage other people's emotions. Like, oh, I don't want them to feel bad. I don't want them to be sad. I don't want them to think about me like this. Mm. This eclipse has really, really, like, opened your eyes to the way in which you try to... It's also a bit of manipulation, you know. Because you are trying to second guess the person, the other person's reactions, so you choose to do, make decisions in a certain way. But now you're seeing how all of those things are burdening you down and keeping you tied down. You truly, all of them seems like you're trying to move up a hill, but the weight of everything you're carrying your baggage, which is actually 60% of it, is other people's baggage, which you've assumed as your baggage. The weight of all of that is weighing you down. So as you're going up, you're being pulled back. As you're going up, you're being pulled back by the weight of other people's baggage. This Libra season, and over the next six months, you really have the opportunity to organize. When I say organize, like you're getting clear about what is yours and what is someone else's. What is your baggage and what is someone else's baggage. What do you need to deal with and what does the other person need to deal with? What do you need to say and what do you have to leave to the other person to see? How you stop second guessing people? How you realize that staying in balance, staying in power, with seeing yourself is going to bring you all the balance you need. That's what's going to help you move forward. The pressure is a changing. But as you are changing, you are also feeling a bit concerned, like you still need to maintain appearance, you are feeling like you need to manage the fallout, the repercussions, like you don't want to do abrupt changes. And I suppose that, like, are you doing that for yourself or someone else? Because right now, you are actually minding other people's business, like, oh, how would they feel, how would they take me out? But it's none of your concern. Okay? It's none of your concern, my love. It's none of your concern how people choose to take you, how people choose to see you. You realize that in managing that, in trying to manage the outcomes, you actually deny yourself the freedom of making choices. And it's really stressing you out. You deny yourself the freedom of changing, of doing things that actually feel you enjoy because you're all always thinking about, oh, if I do it like this, it is so that person will be affected. If I do it like this, so that person will be affected. No. No, my love. You have to let you. The stress is sticking you out. You guys may also be experiencing back pain. Back pain, headaches, tension, headaches. 
attracting very significant, especially around your kidneys, which is like a lower back around the indentation. And I'm also saying like your adrenals may also be like overly fired, like overly taxed because the stress, a lot of the stress you're under is emotional stress of how other people will take you, how other people will take your news, how other people will take your changes, your transformation, all of those. But it's none of your business. You can't control how people react to you. You can't control how people respond to you. You can only control your life, my love. Okay. So you've got Knight of Cups here. Inspiration can come from anywhere. Um, your emotions are also going to be a very, very rich well of inspiration for you at this time. Be attentive, observant. Allow your curiosity to flow. What if you just try to do things in a new way? Give yourself the opportunity. What if you try to do things in a new way? What if you just give yourself the opportunity? Like, okay, I've never tried it this way before. Let me try this way. Let me try this way. Let me... Let me try this way. What if I do it this way? What if... looking quite cute <laughs> so, as I'm saying. so give yourself the opportunity to try things in new ways okay give yourself the opportunity to try things in new ways and especially in terms of in terms of this emotion because what I'm saying is your emotions are changing but on one hand you're trying to maintain the facade of someone else on the other hand the someone else who is perhaps bringing new energies to you and then you don't want to let go of the facade because you're trying to mind out the fear you're trying to you're trying to mind out the fear you're trying to manage their emotions let's get some authority about that you're trying to manage out your feelings you're trying to manage your emotions yeah so finally is important here yeah. for some of you some of those persons are like your family members that you don't know how they are going to react when you decide to make the scene and now so it's about oh, okay this is the direction in which i want to go now these are the kind of things i'm doing now um these are the kind of things i'm doing now i don't have the energy to spend time with this kind of person i want to spend my time with this kind of person my emotions have changed for some of you, this stress here yeah, are burning right now because you don't know how your family members are going to take the news you give to them. Okay, you've got the stop in reverse. Compromise. Writing and apology. Alright, you guys may be seeing 333. You may also be seeing 444s. Okay? As well as 777s. Seven, seven, Alright, my love. So there's something about you choosing... Are you going to choose someone who keeps giving you excuses? Who never seems ready? Who seems like they keep choosing you? They keep, they keep on choosing you? Or are you going to choose someone who is ready to make new adventures with you? Okay? Are you going to choose a person who never apologizes for their mistakes? So are you going to choose the one who always apologizes when they are wrong? Are you going to keep on making the choices that are not fulfilling for you on a long term simply because you don't want things to change, simply because you're just trying to manage like, okay, how can this thing get better, can this thing get better, can this thing get better? Are you going to keep on compromising your happiness? Are you going to keep on compromising your happiness? Are you going to keep on compromising your happiness? Are you going to keep on trying to maintain the peace because you don't want the people around you to be disturbed by these changes you're going through, by you speaking your truth, by you saying, okay, I'm not satisfied with this, I want more, I want better, I want more, I'm ready for more. Are you just going to keep on like that? Okay, so for my for you, my sweet brother, this is around your family life. For those of you who are single or engaged, this is about you like really 
Okay, for the same thing, was this about you getting clear? Like, okay, who is the kind of partner I would really want to build a family with? What are those values that I want to see procreated in my family over time? And then for those of you that are married, that you are already in relationships, that you are in your family, it's around you, speaking up and not trying to maintain the peace, letting your spouse know in the room, you. It's like you are trying not to disturb the peace. You're trying not to disturb the peace. But the truth is, if you don't bring these things up, it's just going to keep on weighing on you. You can't make the, fault. You can't make the progress you need to be making. For some of you, you're like you've been waiting and holding out for an apology that seems to never be coming. It seems like this apology is never going to come by. Keep waiting for it. What are you waiting for? You are waiting for you to make your decision. You are waiting for this apology to make your decision. Like, we gave the apologize then. We can move forward. But if the apology is not coming, what are you still waiting for? It is terrifying. What are they compromising? Mm -hmm. If you wrote something new, new adventures. Expanding, visiting new places, new rising, new adventures. Okay, someone and they are compromising you having a new experience, a new adventure, a new feeling, a new experience. Basically, you are compromising that for something you've always known, for a pattern that's always been repeating itself. You are compromising. This freedom, you're being able to do things by yourself. See, what I'm really saying is just you traveling, exploring new heights, new vistas, new adventures, new experiences. You're compromising all of those for someone who is not ready to even apologize for the basic things they've done to you. And you're compromising all of this and you're not even speaking up about it. That's but you're not speaking about Balti, you're not speaking about like oh you're wrong to be like this, this is what you did wrong. You need to apologize for this. You know, you're not speaking about you need to see your mind and let things lie where they lie. Okay. Okay, so can you expect, as I say, you guys are seeing 777. What can you expect in the next six months? The next six months is going to show you how to stand in your power. In six months, then you'll be stronger with your decision making, with your boundaries. There's also something about you right now, like your creativity is going to. Your creativity is going to be blooming and that's going to empower these life changes you're making. It's like your skills are going to be recognized. You're going to be standing fully in your power. You're balanced. You're able to make rational decisions, emotional decisions. You're able to do things. You're able to follow up with what you say. You're able to say what you want. You're able to follow through with your art desires. There's also a new contract you guys are going to be signing in six months. Okay, so for some of you, that's going to be you getting married, you um, exchanging vows with your partner. Um, for others of you, this is going to be like um, you signing up for work in a company that is more suited to your temperament or that is more in alignment with what you want for yourself. But this vibe is strongly on your personal relationships. In six months' time, you're going to see that all the work you've been doing in rebranding yourself, in revamping how you shop your relationships, is going to leave your partner to be more committed to you. But if you keep doing this thing in a way whereby you're not tasking them, you're not making them own up to their mistakes, you're not making them apologize, you're not, you keep on compromising your happiness because you don't want to rock the boat. Things are just going to continue to pile on and pile on and pile on. And then in six months time you be consumed with guilt because you know you should have made this decision right now. 
If you continue to make choices for yourself, continue to choose freedom, continue to choose yourself first and speak up about your feelings. In six months time, you will feel very powerful. I'm also seeing like some assets coming to you through the work you've been doing. So whatever creative project you're working on right now, Libra, I want you to continue it. Focus on doing it for the next three to six months. By six months time, you're going to reap the reward. That's Aries New Year, by New Year 2025. Um, you're going to be reaping the rods of this creative project. So continue persevere. Don't let other things stress you out. Focus on your creative project. In six months time, this thing is going to bring in you a lot of rewards, remuneration, raise. They are just showing me the hours. <laughs> they just showing me the hours. Let's see. You didn't find a word for me. It's really breast. Okay, so in six months' time, you're getting more money, you're getting more recognition, you're, your status is increasing. People are going to see around you like, okay, this person means their shit. They stand on business. They stand on business. And this is going to bring the new contract. This is going to bring the new contract that you're signing. This new relationship commitment is going to because now you're standing as you truly are. You're standing in your full power. Okay, so for those of you that have been waiting for your maybe your boyfriend or your intended spouse or to show this level, chill six months, give yourself time to if you be a guy watching this, just give yourself time to step into your full empress energy. So that even when they see you, they will shake, <laughs> they will not come to you with nonsense. So that whatever you are committing to is going to be something that is worthy of how you truly see yourself. So give yourself this next six months to fully evolve into this powerful being you're becoming. Okay, my love. Alright, let's see. Let me find a message for you, Brad. Okay, so I'm also be feel so you may be feeling pulled to be more regal, be more um intentional with your appearance you are feeling this surge of the power and the power is coming through your work it's not coming through other people's attachments to you whatever anybody else is giving you it's coming through your work your creative ideas your projects will continue to empower you and continue to see yourself more so you guys may be feeling very regal you may feel like being very intentional as i said you guys may be switching up your jewelry just being very intentional with your appearance Are you finding this from this when you first? Okay, so showing up better. Right now, I want you to assume there's something for me to assume that I can type kind of body so that you can show better in your relationships. the ring and the mirror so that everything around you reflects back to you where you are if you want commitment if you want commitment then you have to be committed to yourself if you want trust then you have to be true you have to trust yourself if you want love then you have to love yourself anything you want from anybody if you want to respect then you need to respect yourself you've got the mirror and the ring if you want anything you want from the external world, that's why I also said you may be feeling pulled to be more intentional with your parents because you want people to start seeing you in a certain light, you want people to start responding to you in a certain light. So what do you do? You start showing up as that person. Everything around you is just simply reflecting back to you where you are. So all your relationship is right is right now. It's just reflecting back to you the choices and decisions you made previously. Now you're at this point of having a new chapter. How are you going to move forward? If you want this person to respect you, then you need to start treating yourself with respect. With respect in how you show up, with respect in how you do things. Okay. So you've got the mirror. Yes, yeah, maybe six, seven, 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 a lot. That was just coming through repeatedly. So one, 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 three, 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 four, 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 seven, 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 seven. Keeps coming through. And then during. 
I'm also hearing something about you. Um, if you've been wanting to be betrothed, buy the ring for yourself. Maybe not buy the ring, but buy a ring that signifies your commitment to yourself, that, sh that commits you to your passions, that shows that first and foremost your interest is you. 2020 already, I said that. Okay. So you guys may be feeling poor to wear rings, more buying more rings. However, you feel this. Garnets may also be significant to buying wearing garnets, crystal rings. That's coming through strongly. If you can find a garnet ruby and pink cut mixture, that'll be great. But if not a garnet ring, if not just a ring that shows you that solidifies your commitment to yourself. And give yourself just six months to become who you need to be before you go into this relationship. All right, final message from this video, guys. Right? I'm being cool to this other day, but let's say that's shuffle. There's no such thing as a mistake. Everything happens in being a divine other. We are being guided to learn and grow. There's no such thing as a mistake. Everything happens in divine other. We are being guided to learn and grow. I am willing to see my sameness with others. This opens my awareness to oneness. I am willing to see my sameness with others. This opens to my awareness to oneness. I cherish every cell in my body. Can you see the colors? Ooh, I like that. that as I saw this, what I'm seeing again is like, you guys, you're really being very creative right now. Some of you may be working with colors, paints, mixing. What I'm saying is that, like, that painter's thing, you really have like different acrylic paints or oil, and they're just mixing it up. What I'm also hearing is like right now your life is a canvas and you are the one that chooses to paint upon it what you want. Imagine like a black white canvas. This gives me and then you have the confirmation bulb. <laughs> and then you have the paintbrush, you have the colours, and then anything you decide to paint upon it is your own drawing. It's nobody's doing, it's just yours. So what colours are you going to paint? What are you going to paint? What pictures? What scenery? What I can't control the world but I choose I can choose I can control how I choose to perceive it. So remember that thing about we saying you keep managing other people's respect yeah, managing other people's emotions. And then the way it's weighing you down. The way it's weighing you down, baby this is weighing you down. You can't control the world, but you can choose to control. But you can control how you choose to perceive it. You can also be painful to evil eye, eye shaped, eye symboled. Um, I'm also seeing the ank. No, not the ank. Is it tot? The Egyptian symbol with the eye that calls down. I think it's tot. Then I'm also seeing like I maybe feel good to eye tattoos, paintings, jewelry, and then colors are also very significant for you. Okay. All right, you guys. That's what you need to know for the next six months in your relationship. The focus is primarily on you, so that in six months' time, you are ready to sign this new contract. You are ready to sign up. You are ready to commit to this relationship from a very aware and evolved space. As the Empress Beach, as the Emperor, I love you. Mm. And if you like to look at it, I like the summer by you. This is what I'm kind of called.